Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Michael Germain in for Alexandra. It's Friday, June 7th, 2024. Here's News 8's meteorologist Bill Graw with your early morning forecast. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday to all of you. Uh, boy, it was windy and cooler yesterday. We had some spits and sprinkles in spots as well. 71 was the high in the cross. Only 60s for highs, though, to the north. 67 in Eau Claire, 68 in Winona, and 68 in Black River Falls. 75 was the high in Prairie du Chien. This morning, lots of sunshine, a clear sky. Again, the almanac from yesterday showing that high of 71, 58 the low. Just a trace of rain with some sprinkles out at the La Crosse Airport. Averages are 80 and 58 for today. Record high today, 100 set in 2011. 39 the record low set way back in 1935. So skies are clear, just some passing clouds over far eastern parts of the state. As you look to the west, all is quiet and temperatures currently in the 50s for most, although 61 out at the La Crosse Airport, 44 in Black River Falls, 56 in Eau Claire, 59 in Winona, and 58 in Prairie du Chien. So sunny to partly cloudy today, still a bit breezy, but not as windy as yesterday. A high of 78 degrees chance of rain showers uh, late tonight and into our Saturday morning. Uh, more information on that with my eight day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Thanks, Bill. Let's get to some news this morning. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has received an invitation to speak before both houses of Congress later this month. An Israeli official confirmed that the address will take place on July 24th. The bipartisan bicameral meeting will offer Netanyahu the opportunity to share the Israeli government's vision regarding democracy, terrorism, and establishing peace in the region. Netanyahu said he's moved by the invitation and intends to address the war in Gaza. This morning, President Biden and former President Trump continue their push to draw a clear contrast to one another. The president is overseas in France, calling attention to the perils of bowing to bullies and threats to democracy. While out west, Trump held his first campaign rally since becoming a convicted felon, highlighting immigration, a key campaign issue. CBS News' Jared Hill has more from New York. Today, President Joe Biden will deliver a major speech in France, highlighting threats to democracy, a central theme during his visit to mark the 80th anniversary of D-Day. We're living in a time when democracy is more at risk across the world than any point since the end of the World War II. It's a message Biden is also hammering at home in this new campaign ad. I will defend our democracy with every fiber of my being. Yesterday in Arizona, his opponent, former President Donald Trump, held his first campaign rally since his Manhattan criminal conviction. I just went through a rigged trial in New York. Trump holds a slight lead over Biden in the battleground state, also a border state where immigration is a top issue. We will end Joe Biden's border nightmare. Supporters of the former president who braved triple digit temperatures to see him dismissed his criminal conviction. Those are false charges. They're bogus. In an interview with ABC News, President Biden again pushed back on the criticism. Look, he got a fair trial. The jury spoke like they speak in all cases, and it should be respected. Today, Trump is attending fundraisers in California as the race for his VP pick heats up. In interviews that aired last night, Trump said he'll likely announce his choice at the Republican National Convention next month. CBS News has learned that several possible vice presidential choices have received vetting forms from the Trump campaign and that the four people who have been internally discussed the most are North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum and Senators Marco Rubio, Tim Scott and J.D. Vance. Though the campaign cautions that this does not mean any of them will ultimately be chosen. Charges against Wapan Correctional's warden and eight other staffers are renewing calls to shut the prison down. Warden Randall Hepp and eight staffers are charged with misconduct related to the death of two inmates. According to a criminal complaint, one inmate told an advocate three days before he died that he needed to go to the hospital. No action was taken and he died of a stroke. Another inmate with mental health problems flooded his cell and guards turned off his water. Guards then didn't bring him food in the four days before he died. Investigators asked Hep if guards track inmates' meals. Hep said 
He didn't think any prison did and asked if that was even possible. Hep faces three and a half years in prison if convicted. A West Salem man convicted of killing his wife in 2016 has lost another appeal for a new trial. After a nine day trial, Todd Kenhammer was convicted of killing his wife, Barbara. He was sentenced to life in prison with a chance for parole after 30 years. In Ken Hammer's argument to the State Court of Appeals, he argued that his trial lawyers were constitutionally ineffective in its decision. The Court of Appeals rejected that argument and reaffirmed the La Crosse County Court's decision to deny a motion for a new trial. Ken Hammer maintains his innocence and says his wife was killed when a pipe from another vehicle crashed through their car's windshield. Everyone is safe after a boat was rescued from being stuck on a dam in Chippewa Falls. According to a press release from Chippewa Falls Fire and Emergency Services, Wednesday they received a report of a boat being stuck on top of the Glenlock Dam in Chippewa Falls. Upon arrival, crews found two firefighters and a street department worker above the dam after the current swept them away from some safety buoys that were being repaired at the time of the incident. Nobody was harmed in the incident. A Hickston woman will spend five years behind bars for a 2021 burglary and standoff. A Jackson County judge today sentenced 36 year old Jolene Lowe to five years in prison and three years of supervised release. In 2021, Lowe and her husband Aaron were arrested after a botched burglary and standoff with the Jackson County Sheriff's Office and La Crosse County SWAT team. Lowe was convicted of burglary with battery. Aaron Lowe is expected to be sentenced today. Eau Claire County authorities are asking for help identifying a suspect in a Wednesday stabbing. The Eau Claire Sheriff's Office says deputies responded to the village of Fairchild at about 1045 Wednesday night for a stabbing. One male victim was sent to the hospital and is in stable condition. The suspect left before deputies arrived. They were described as white, wearing a black hooded sweatshirt and ski mask. Authorities say this was an isolated incident and the public is not in any danger. If you have any information on the suspect, contact Detective Greener at the number on your screen. Vernon County Emergency Management is training area schools on safely reuniting families after a potential emergency. They taught school staff the I love you guys standard reunification method. That's a standardized process for bringing parents, students and staff together after an emergency where school cannot stay in session, such as tornadoes, bomb threats, and school shootings. Vernon County's emergency management director says this method helps bring order to the chaos following an emergency. We have emergency services from um, every community in Vernon County and some in Monroe, and it's just really nice. We don't often do this together, and why should why not? <laughs> it just seems like a very efficient way to get everyone on the same page quickly. Michael says that the training is critical for handling a large student population. Access to the northern portion of Pettibone Park is closed due to high water. According to the City of La Crosse's Parks Department, Pettibone Drive North will be closed until further notice. The closure includes the Lagoon Rental Facility. Access to the Bow Club will remain open. It's never too early to think about the next Oktoberfest. The Gamutla Kite Foundation revealed the next Oktoberfest button at their annual Forks and Corks dinner. The Gamutla Kite Foundation is a charitable arm for lacrosse's festivals, including Oktoberfest, and they raise money to provide local students scholarships. Their Forks and Corks dinner is the foundation's primary fundraiser, and attendees got a sneak peek at this year's Oktoberfest button. The president of this year's fest says the button is an essential part of the Oktoberfest tradition. Oh, just a heritage, you know, it, it stands for such a big part of Oktoberfest. We've had them since 1961 and uh, it's neat to see each design each year. The theme for this year's button is friendship. Gamutlakite and more, the Cross Festival's board of directors settled on the design out of about 70 other submissions. Oktoberfest 2024 kicks off in just 111 days, running from September 26th through the 29th. We'll gear up for an action-packed weekend in the Cooley region in Chippewa Valley. 
Beginning in La Crosse, the Pump House will be hosting their annual Art Spire event on Saturday. The event will feature performances by the Driftless Urban Orchestra, Seesaw, and the Braided James. The event will also host a fine art fair and sale, as well as some interactive art installations. The free event runs from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow at Riverside Park. It's Butterfest this weekend in Sparta. The weekend-long event began yesterday with a carnival and military night. But if you missed last night's festivities, don't worry, because tonight there will be bingo and a softball tournament. And tomorrow there will be plenty of events, such as a golf tournament and even a cow milking contest. For a full list of events, you can visit the website on your screen. And up in Altoona, it's Cinder City Days this weekend at Cinder City Park. Some of the events held include performances by Jimmy Rodriguez and Chris Crows, bucket raffles and even a parade tomorrow at 1 p.m. For more information and to buy tickets, visit the website on your screen. Still ahead on your morning news, the FTC lifts its marketing ban on vape company Jewel. Red Lobster looks to close more restaurants and Good Earth calls over a million lights over fire risks. And the latest crash tests are being released for this year's top SUV models. We'll have the details coming up in your consumer news. For now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. While many New Yorkers have become pros at walking through with some of Midtown Manhattan's busy streets, these little robots were a little hesitant to try to cross the street. The robots were sent out to promote Amazon's new Party Rock app in an effort to help tourists and locals find their happy hour, happy place during New York City's Tech Week. The robots were eventually able to get across the street with some assistance from their handler, not only help New Yorkers have a fun time at their recommended bar, but also give us here at home a laugh. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news at News 8 Now this morning is after the break. It's the summer sale at Home Furniture. Everything is on sale. Get up to 30% off regular prices. This Leslie sofa is just $9.99, and this Spindrift dining set is $12.99. Get savings throughout the showroom during the summer sale at Home Furniture. Discovering the perfect paint for your home has never been easier with Zinzer Smart Coat. Plan smart with interactive tools at smartcoat.com. Buy smart in store or online for home delivery. And paint smart with this advanced paint and primer in one. Say hello to Zinzer Smart Coat, the next generation of intelligent paint. For over 40 years, La Crosse Glass and Overhead Door has been the go-to company for anything glass and door. We offer a large stock inventory of CEHI garage doors to help you find the perfect fit. As a locally owned business, we take pride in our work and always get the job done. From commercial glass and glazing to residential glass and CEHI garage doors, we have the experience and expertise to help you. Call or visit our website today. Has your pet been diagnosed with a cruciate ligament injury or torn ACL? Forget the inconvenience of travel and expense to a university. Dr. Mark Hine at Wisconsin Veterinary Orthopedics in Holman specializes in knee reconstruction using the TPLO. This is a gold standard that's been used by veterinarians for over 40 years and provides the strongest fixation in ACL repair. Fetch made possible one knee at a time. Contact Dr. Mark Hine at Wisconsin Veterinary Orthopedics today. Let River City Grill in Winona, Minnesota be your new go-to dinner destination. We provide exceptional service no matter the occasion. From date nights to family outings with the kids, we have something for everybody at the table. Enjoy one of our 23 tap beers and pair it with a burger and fries during our happy hour from 2 to 6 p.m. Or for a fine dining experience, try our salmon and steak entrees paired with our amazing signature cocktails. River City Grill, located in Winona, Minnesota. Call or book an online reservation today. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so much. From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to, to delicious. delicious. Yeah. 
Right now at Home Sleep Express, get up to $1,200 off Beautyrest Black adjustable sets. Pay no interest for three years and get a free gas grill, plus free white glove delivery. The Beautyrest Black Mattress event, going on for a limited time, now at Home Sleep Express. Hey, welcome back and a good Friday morning to it is 614 dog walking forecast for today. Green paws across the board. It's going to be a good day for outdoor plans. Still a little breezy, but not as windy as yesterday. Plenty of sunshine this morning, a few clouds this afternoon, increasing clouds later this evening. So Cleo is all ready for that sunshine. She's got the shades on. <laughs> Love the shot there. Cleo is a therapy dog, by the way, hoping to walk with Linda and uh, maybe visit some residents uh, for today. All right, currently we've got some sunshine currently and you know what? It's going to be a drier pattern over the next eight days. That's probably welcome news to many as it's been very wet as of late. Now with that said, there's a chance of showers late tonight into tomorrow morning and again around Tuesday of next week, but neither of these look like overly heavy events in terms of how much rain we're going to get. And now this morning, uh, skies are clear, just some passing clouds over far eastern parts of the state of Wisconsin and into the central Great Lakes. Current temperatures in the 50s for most, but 61 in La Crosse and and 46, the cool spot in Black River Falls. Sunny to part the cloudy, still a bit breezy. Northwesterly winds today, 10 to 20, maybe some gusts 25 to 30 miles per hour in spots. We'll see highs in the cross around 78 degrees. I will discuss the rain chances with my full eight day forecast coming up in just about four minutes or so. In your consumer news this morning, a marketing ban on vaping products produced by e-cigarette maker Juul Labs has been lifted. Thursday, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration announced marketing denial orders for the company's products are rescinded. Juul confirmed its products can stay on shelves as a scientific review is done. A marketing ban was slapped on the company's products by the FDA in 2022, covering devices, tobacco, and menthol-flavored pods. Red Lobster has identified the locations that are in danger of shutting down if a court approves its plan following bankruptcy. The company, which became the world's largest seafood restaurant chain, filed for bankruptcy last month and wants to shut down several dozen more restaurants. Red Lobster said it had more than a billion dollars in debt and less than 30 million in cash on hand. The chain plans to sell its business to its lenders in return for financing to keep operating. Part of the plan is to close some of its nearly 600 restaurants. Good Earth Lighting is recalling 1.2 million lights after a death in multiple fires. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission posted the announcement Thursday. The company's rechargeable integrated lights can overheat. According to Good Earth, one person died and another was treated for smoke inhalation when the product caused a fire in their home last year. The company said it is aware of nine additional reports of lights overheating. There are new crash test results for three of the nation's top selling large SUVs. All three had room to improve, but two, the Ford Expedition and the Chevy Tahoe, earned low marks in several key safety categories, including crash protection. Chris Van Cleef has more on the findings. The latest crash tests from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety focus on large SUVs, finding the best-selling Chevrolet Tahoe and Ford Expedition fell short in several categories and underperformed in a front crash test more than 90% of new vehicles have scored well on since 2021. Bigger doesn't necessarily equal safer. That is right. What these tests have told us is that having a bigger, heavier vehicle does not always mean safer. IIHS Vice President Raul Arbelize. What we've seen over the years is that when manufacturers do not perform well in these tests, they quickly pull their engineering and design teams together, make the changes. While the Jeep Wagoneer earned a top safety pick for its overall performance, in new tests focused on crash protections for rear seat passengers, none scored well. IIHS found all three showed a risk of chest injuries in a collision. The Chevy's pedestrian collision avoidance system underperformed, failing to stop before impact in some tests and earned a marginal rating, while its headlights scored poor. All three earned a good rating in side impact crash tests. Jeep, in a statement, cheered its top safety pick ranking. 
Ford says the Expedition meets or exceeds regulatory requirements and is the only vehicle in the segment to achieve a five-star overall vehicle score from safety regulators. And General Motors says it's confident in the safety of the Chevrolet Tahoe and will look to incorporate these latest findings into our new vehicle designs. That's it for your morning consumer news. Let's check in with News 8's meteorologist Bill Grohl and get a look at today's forecast. Hi, Michael. Uh, boy, trees and hair products have been tested uh as of late, significantly, we had the gusty thunderstorms on Wednesday evening. Yesterday, we had some windy conditions as well. Uh, peak wind gusts of 42 miles per hour at Lake City, Preston 41, at La Crosse 40, same with Prairie du Chien, Decorah 37, and Eau Claire 36 mile per hour gusts. So, a uh, rather windy and cooler day yesterday. Now, this morning, we're starting with blue sky and sunshine once again. 61 degrees out at the airport, 60 downtown at the station. Winds out of the west northwest at 10, and the Mississippi continues to rise. 9.58 feet. A uh, forecast to rise above 10 feet tonight. That would be an action stage, meaning no wake rules would go to in, into effect along developed shoreline in the La Crosse area. And many locations along the Mississippi could uh, climb to near flood stage over the next couple of days. So it's going to be running high for the next week or two. 56 degrees for you folks in Eau Claire. Uh, winds out of the west to 10. The Chippewa River running high as well uh, at 765.3. Uh, current temperatures generally in the 50s for most. Exception, La Crosse at 61, and uh, Black River Falls was in the 40s, but now you're up to 54. Everyone else uh, between about 54 and 59 degrees. Dew points are comfortable once again in the 40s, so that's pleasant and dry in terms of how it feels outside this morning, and it's going to remain in the 40s through the day, so low humidity once again for today. Winds generally from the west-northwest, 5 to 15. They will be picking up a little bit today once again, and uh, skies are clear, just some clouds over far eastern Wisconsin. Eventually, those areas of low pressure over the front range of the Rockies will organize and bring a chance for some rain showers as they track east towards the area uh, late tonight and into tomorrow morning. Sky Tracker will time that out for you. Uh, sunshine this morning, Increasing clouds later today and into tonight. Uh, the rain shower is not reaching most of our area till after 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and then passing through the area through about mid to late morning of our Saturday. But Saturday afternoon's looking mainly dry and Sunday's looking mainly dry as well with temperatures in the 70s. Rain trackers showing the potential for uh, maybe up to a quarter inch or less of rainfall. Uh, perhaps some isolated higher totals and a little stripe. Uh, exactly where that stripe sets up still in question, but uh, for the most part, not an overly heavy rain event uh, later tonight into tomorrow morning. Temperatures today will be a little bit warmer, uh, right around 78 degrees in the La Crosse area. And generally, our 65 locations in our zone forecast fly-through will see highs between about 72 and 78 degrees. You can pick out uh, your location or at least the location closest to you. So for today, sunny to partly cloudy, still a bit breezy but not as windy as yesterday. Northwest winds 10 to 20, maybe some gusts 25 to 30 miles per hour. 78 for the high, becoming cloudy tonight, chance of showers late, lows around 58, some ice at a thunder not completely out of the question. Chance of showers tomorrow morning, dry in the afternoon and dry Sunday with highs in the 70s. 72 on Monday. Chance for some thunder showers next Tuesday, 74. Uh, isolated thunder showers late Wednesday or Wednesday night. Warmer and more humid for the second half of next week with highs generally in the lower to middle 80s. But uh, with the Mississippi River running high and with how wet it's been as of late, generally this eight day forecast pretty good news. Lots of dry time over the next several days. Michael. Thanks, Bill. Still ahead on your morning news, a new report is finding that a growing number of minority women doctors are feeling burned out. Coming up in your morning medical news, we'll take a look at what's causing this growing trend and what doctors say needs to be adjusted to help hospitals retain their workforces. Loggers were back home last night looking for a win over Green Bay, plus two MVC rivals were clashing on the pitch in the section semis. I'll have all that coming up in the Blitz. Taste a sweet strawberry, a Jolivet strawberry. Stop by Jolivet Family Farms Market today for some fresh Jolivet's homegrown strawberries. Available seven days a week in the market. Check for availability. Jolivet's also features a large selection of fresh vegetables and homegrown produce. There is no sweeter strawberry in the world than a Jolivet strawberry. Only at Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. Reed and Chelsea along with you.
All right, so we talked about this a little earlier. We we got a new dishwasher, and it Woo! wasn't like hey, we wanted to upgrade. No, our dishwasher three weeks ago took a, took a you know what, and we have been without one for three weeks. We haven't talked about it. It's kind of just where we we don't we don't even talk about that much amongst each other because we don't want to acknowledge <laughs> the situation it's we're in. Miserable. And I tell you, like I realize there are people who washed dishes for you know twelve right. kids back in the day and all that. That's great. Once you've had a dishwasher, yeah, you, you can't get go really back. soft. At Taco John's, we've got beef with other places that start with frozen beef. That's why we start with only 100% American never-frozen beef simmered in our signature spice blend. Say no to thaw and yes to 100% American beef at Taco John's. Here's to the farm and fleet dads, the ones who work hard and get the job done right, the ones who take pride in what they do and take the time to pass it on. This Father's Day, get your dad a gift he'll love. Like men's Ariat t-shirts, buy two, get one free. New at Blaine's, this Charbroil Gas Grill, $209.99. Save $20 on this Simpson Pressure Washer, $399. Plus, a Blaine's Farm and Fleet gift card makes the perfect Father's Day gift. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. There's many places you could go for local news, weather, and sports. But we're humbled and honored that you made News 8 Now your number one choice. You expect more, and so do we. Thanks for watching. Download the News 8000 app today. Welcome to the Blitz. The Wisconsin high school girls soccer teams are still fighting for a spot in the state tournament next week. A couple of MVC rivals are still alive in Division II. They were clashing last night for the third time this season. This one with the stakes a whole lot higher. The winner moves on to the sectional final. The loser goes home. Let's go to Onalaska Hilltoppers hosting rival Holman. And early on, the Vikings try to catch Anna off guard. Olivia Schneider almost gets it to go, but Summer Nikolai gets a piece of it, keeps this one scoreless. And the best team in the MVC starts to take over. Isabella Kromicki all alone sends this missile into the back of the net. Less than five minutes in, Anna jumps in front. About four minutes later, it's Amaya Tessing joining the party. She finds the twine. Hilltoppers double their lead. It's 2 0, and the home team not letting up. A left foot laser from Kromicki. Second goal of the night for the sophomore, and the Hilltoppers in complete control. Great lead pass here to Tessing, and the senior is going to seal the deal. Her second goal of the game puts on Alaska up by four. Hilltoppers shut out rival Holman for nothing. The final as on Alaska moves on to the sectional final Saturday at one in Altoona. As for West Salem, a phenomenal season for the Panthers, but the girls season comes to an end last night in Rice Lake. West Salem comes up just short two one the final in the D3 sectional semifinal. To the Lumberyard we go. Loggers donning their old styles jerseys last night, facing off with Green Bay. Rockers threatening in the fourth when Luke Moeller rips one that finds its way out to left. Green Bay strikes first. It's 1-0. Visitors looking to do some more damage. Lucas Torres pounds one into the ground, but he's digging it out of the box. Legs out an RBI single. Green Bay doubles its lead. And then it's Carson Hansen lining one out to second base. But on the double play attempt, the throw is wild. Another Rocker runner scores. Makes it 3 0 Green Bay. Bottom in the inning, home side with a couple ducks on the pond. JT Kelnick, younger brother of current major leaguer and Waukesha native Jared, lifts one out to center. It's caught. The runner's going to try to move up to third, but the turf infield turns into a slip and slide. Jack Collins flies past the base. No magic in lacrosse last night. Loggers fall to the Rockers 11 6. Twins in the Big Apple trying to avoid the sweep, but the Yankees showing why they're the best team in the AL. Bottom three, Glaber Torres chops from the right side. No twins in sight. That's going to play two. New York goes in front four to two. Then in the fourth, Yankees get a bit of a gift. Bad throw to third. That's going to allow Anthony Volpe to come in a score. Makes it 6-2 Yankees. And the home team adding two. It's still in the fourth inning. Giancarlo Stanton goes back up the middle. That's going to get through for a base hit. Twins get swept in New York. 8-5.
the final score. That's going to do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. Ashley Stars and Stripes sale is going on now. Don't miss these furniture hot buys, now only $7.99. Plus pay 0% interest for five years with no minimum purchase in-store only. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. Hi folks, Harvey Wood of Wood Sales and Service here. As one of Wisconsin's largest Cub Cadet dealers, Wood Sales and Service is celebrating with discounts up to $1,000 on select Cub Cadet models. Cub Cadet lawnmowers, snowblowers, commercial equipment, and UTVs. We offer the best selection and service in the area with 0% 48-month financing or cash discounts. Experience the Wood Sales advantage of service before and after the sale. Wood Sales and Service, Black River Falls. Family owned and operated for 55 years. WoodSalesService.com. Is there such a thing as too many strawberries? I don't know, Stan. Is there such a thing as too many sunsets? Or too many rainbows? The new Strawberry Festival is here with our new fresh strawberry mega pancake platter, only at Perkins. We provide specialty level care in anything from wisdom tooth removal to dental implant placement to more complex corrective jaw surgeries. Trying to make it as easy of an experience as you can go through. We're the most experienced clinic in the region for these uh, types of procedures. If you or your family member needs wisdom teeth removed to tooth extraction, dental implants, you found the right place, we'd be happy to see you here. We work closely with your general dentist, have a discussion with your dentist about a referral to us. Arby's Deluxe Burger. Have you ever seen such a well-crafted burger? Oh, Arby's Big Cheesy Bacon Burger. Have you ever seen such a... Arby's, we have the meat. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. BMO! Wow. Forest berry fudge is amazing. This is melting in my mouth. Dill pickle? Whoa, that's actually good. Hmm, holy fudge. This is the best thing ever. Expressions brought to you by Valley Fudge and Candy. Find us in Coon Valley, Wisconsin or order online today. Ashley Stars and Stripes mattress sale is going on now. Don't miss these mattress hot buys, now only $7.99. And get a free adjustable base upgrade with an Align by Ashley Sleep mattress purchase. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. In your morning medical news, the CDC is urging some members of the LGBTQ community to get the MPOX vaccine this Pride Month. Formerly known as monkeypox, MPOX can sometimes be deadly. The Department of Health and Human Services will be at Pride events across the nation spreading the importance of getting the vaccine. During the 2022 global outbreak, 90% of those who got the disease in the U.S. were men who identified as gay or bisexual. New research shows more female doctors of color are leaving their jobs due to burnout. Dominic Garcia has more. A growing number of minority women doctors are feeling burned out and are just leaving their field of work. It was about 47% of all women physicians of color reported experiencing burnout and really being concerned about their wellness. Lupe Alonzo Diaz is the president and CEO of Physicians for a Healthy California and the co-author of a study called A Prescription for Change. She says female physicians of color are drowning in work, feel undervalued, and in many cases, experiencing discrimination and racial bias. Alonzo Diaz says with a shortage of primary care doctors nationwide, there's an urgent need to retain female physicians of color because they're filling critical roles in our communities. That are much more likely to go and practice in those underserved communities where we have low income, under resourced communities. So, what are some of the solutions to retaining more female physicians of color? The more that employers can create policies and practices that support 
all physicians, and particularly women physicians of color, the more that they'll be able to retain them. The study suggests other recommendations, like allowing anonymous employee feedback and compensating them for their work in equity, diversity, and inclusion roles. Experts say female doctors of color also have to juggle responsibilities at home. The Onalaska School District is breaking ground on a $75 million renovation. District officials and community members held a groundbreaking at Onalaska High School yesterday. The event marks the start of upgrades funded by a $75 million referendum passed in November of 2022. In addition to completely renovating Onalaska Middle School, the referendum funds key projects at the high school, like ADA improvements, locker room upgrades, and new music and tech ed spaces. School district superintendent says it's important for the district to offer quality education experiences in modern facilities. The choices students are making in terms of careers are, are happening at a younger and younger age. Uh, and there are so many opportunities for them to get a jump on those pathways while still in high school. Phase one is scheduled to be completed next summer. A popular concert series is back for its 13th summer in La Crosse. Moon Tunes is a free summer-long concert series at La Crosse's Riverside Park. Different musical acts will perform at the band shell every Thursday from 5.30 to 8 p.m. through September 12th. Music lovers can bring lawn chairs, drinks, and snacks. Food trucks from local vendors are also available at each concert. Moon Tunes co-founder says it's a great way for family and friends to get outside. And the smile on everyone's faces. Uh, they just come and enjoy the eating. You know, the phones are put away. Uh, they're relaxing. They come as family, friends, groups, work groups, book clubs. New to Moon Tunes this year, Pearl Street Brewery will be selling wine. Greg Halls and the Wrecking Ball is set to perform next Thursday. An anonymous donation has officials at Minnesota State College Southeast excited for the future. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall has the story. It's one of the biggest single gifts Minnesota State College Southeast has ever received. An anonymous donor is given the college $217,000. It was a gift of stock, so when we receive a gift of stock, we uh, transition that to a, a cash donation and, and it established an endowment for scholarships for our students here at the college. The MSC Foundation will use the money to provide students scholarships and emergency support. It'll also fund program support and equipment supplies. Hawkins says the scholarships will go a long way for the students. It's also a barrier potentially for them to stay in college. So scholarships are really critical for us to support access as well as retention of our students. In Winona, Jeremy Wall, News 8 Now. Now here's News 8's meteorologist Bill Grawl to tell us what to expect for a morning commute. Well, good morning, Michael. Uh, all is quiet across the region this morning for that morning commute. You'll need the sunglasses for sure, though. Blue sky and sunshine, and uh, boy, you can see that glare as we look off to the east on uh, Interstate 90 out near Highway 16 in Onalaska. Drivecast for today does include a sunny to partly cloudy sky. Temperatures a little bit warmer than yesterday, mid to upper 70s in the La Crosse area. Still a bit breezy, but not as windy as what we saw yesterday when winds gusted upwards of 40 miles per hour out at the La Crosse airport. Skies are clear. Just some passing clouds over far eastern parts of the state and uh, current temperatures. Other than that, 61 in the cross, most spots in the 50s, mid to upper 50s this morning. Sunny to partly cloudy, still a bit breezy today. Uh, chance of showers, but not until late tonight, well after midnight. Highs today around 78. And a quick peek of our uh, eight day forecast uh, shows a chance of showers into Saturday morning as well. I will have the full details of my eight day forecast, including the latest on the Mississippi River, coming up on the other side of the break. Before we head to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's Eight. Asher is turning 18 years old today. She also just graduated from West Salem High School. Congratulations to her. You know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon. We'd love to feature them. Just upload their photo to our website, news8000.com. Look for the Submit Pictures button under the Home tab on our website. Coming up, it's Foodie Friday here on News 8 Now this morning. This week, we're sampling some fun shareable cheese plates and sandwiches from the Cheese Corner in Baroqua. 
Here at the Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. Every day, we get to know more about California multimillionaire Eric Hovde, a CEO whose bank makes millions at our seniors' expense. Hovde's bank even owns a nursing home being sued for elder abuse and wrongful death. No wonder Hovde said most seniors shouldn't vote. Listen. If you're in a nursing home, you only have five, six month life expectancy. Almost nobody in a nursing home is in a point to vote. Eric Hovde, a California CEO we can't trust to look out for our families. Win Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Hip, knee, or back pain? See if arch supports can help you at the Good Feet store. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so much. From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> Goobers! <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today... Today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious! To delicious. Yeah. Sealand's Carpet Land, your family comes first. We're more than just a flooring store. We're your partners in creating a home that lasts a lifetime. Discover a world of comfort and durability with our huge selection. Whether it's cozy carpeting for your living room, timeless hardware for a classic touch, or versatile tiles that stand up to the hustle and bustle of family life. Sealand's Carpet Land in Coombe Valley. Our number one priority is you. Stop in today. What kind of a loan officer do you think you deserve? I know that's a very tough question to answer. Here's what I think. I think you deserve a loan officer that is willing to look you in the eye before you take on a lot of debt and say, are you sure? If that's what you're looking for in a lender, call Firefighters Credit Union today. Here at the Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. Hey, welcome back. A happy Friday morning to you at 642. A check of the allergy report. High symptoms across the board today for pine, tree pollen, and grass pollen. Medium to high for tomorrow. Mowing forecast. It's going to be a good day for that today. Still a bit breezy, but not as windy as yesterday. 78. A yellow light tomorrow due to the chance for some rain showers in the morning, but a dry afternoon, 74, and dry on Sunday, a high of 78. All right. The Mississippi continues to rise thanks to all of our recent rainfall. In fact, look at the uh, stage in Wabasha approaching the flood stage. It's up to 11.60 feet and approaching flood stage in Winona and La Crosse as well, but uh, a little bit farther from those flood stages and Prairie du Chien McGregor uh, still a couple of feet from flood stage. But the forecast shows a crest of 12.6 feet in Wabasha, 13.2 in Winona and 12.1 in La Crosse. So that would all equal minor flooding in those three locations. I do uh, remind you that river forecasts can be rather changeable. So just stay tuned for updates. And if you have interests along the Mississippi River, uh, just be extra cautious and aware with those higher water levels. All right, currently skies are clear. Blue sky and sunshine galore. 61 out at the airport, 60 downtown. Winds out of the west-northwest at 10, and there's that Mississippi River stage at 9.58 and rising. 56 for you folks in Eau Claire. Lots of sunshine there as well. Winds out of the west at 10. The Chippewa River also running high and rising just a bit. So current temperatures primarily in the 50s. Uh, La Crosse kind of an exception with that 61. Everyone else, 
between about 53 and 59 degrees. Uh, winds picking up from the west northwest 5 to 15. They could gust 20 to 30 miles per hour in spots today, so still a bit breezy, just not as windy as yesterday. Uh, just a f some passing clouds over far eastern Wisconsin and out to the west. A couple areas of low pressure along the front range of the Rockies. These two will organize uh, to bring our next chance of showers late tonight and into uh, tomorrow morning. So let's time it out on Sky Tracker. Dry today, plenty of sunshine this morning, uh, just a few clouds as the afternoon progresses. Clouds thicken tonight, and that chance of showers rolls in from the west, not till after about 2 or 3 a.m., though. And then tomorrow morning, chance of showers. Those should taper, though, by late morning or lunchtime, and then dry for the afternoon and dry heading into our Sunday as well. Rain tracker showing any rainfall uh, tonight, tomorrow morning should be on the lighter side, generally half an inch or less in most locations. Zone forecast showing temperatures a little bit warmer today, right around 77 or 78 degrees in the La Crosse area. And pretty much uh, most of our 65 locations seeing highs today between about 72 and 78 degrees. So for today, sunny to partly cloudy, still a bit breezy, 78 for the high. Tonight becoming cloudy with those uh, chance of showers late, isolated thunder possible, 58 for the low. Uh, some showers into tomorrow morning, but dry in the afternoon and dry Sunday with highs in the 70s. 72 on Monday, chance for some thunder showers next Tuesday, 74. Isolated thunder showers late Wednesday or Wednesday night, but warmer and more humid as well, uh, Wednesday through Saturday with highs generally in the lower to middle 80s. That's the latest look at my eight day forecast. Now here's Michael, it's Foodie Friday. Every week for Foodie Friday, we talk with the business people and artisans behind outstanding restaurants, bars, cafes, and more. This week, we're excited to have Shelby and Samantha here with us today of the Cheese Corner in studio. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning, thanks. Can you kind of give us just a general overview of what the Cheese Corner is? Yes, um, we're like a deli and sandwich shop. Uh, we're located at 323 South Main Street, right on the edge of Viroqua there. We offer hot and cold subs, also take and bake pizzas, and we also have for catering on um, cheese trays and sub platters as well. Perfect. Now you guys brought a large array of things. Yeah. Uh, before we got on air, I was kind of talking about the sandwich, kind of catching yes. my eye. Can you kind of just talk about some of the stuff you guys brought. Sure, we have two of our favorite um, sellers for the cold subs in front here um, is our Godfather sandwich. It has uh, pepperoni, salami, and pastrami, some provolone cheese, and the five we put on most sandwiches, um, pickles, onions, green peppers, lettuce, and tomato, and then a little pepperoncini for some spice in there. Um, in the back, we have our cheese corner special, which is ham, roast beef, turkey, and the five as well. And then we throw some Swiss and cheddar cheese on that sandwich. Uh, the cheese tray here, that is our crowd pleaser. So we have five Wisconsin cheeses along uh, with some summer sausage and beef sticks for you. Perfect. Now, what would you guys say makes the cheese corner so unique or stand out? Sure. Um, so the Cheese Corner is owned and operated by FARC, which, uh, which is a disability service provider uh, in Wisconsin. And we uh, employ folks with disabilities and other life barriers at the Cheese Corner, providing them you know, coaching and supports to gain some of those vocational skills, uh, cashiering, customer service, food preparation. Um, so yeah, it's really special that we have uh, folks with varying abilities uh, and we're helping them you know, reach their next uh, vocational goals. Great. That's absolutely wonderful. What is... Can you talk about a little bit about what's in this basket right here? Yes, um, this is uh, one of our boxes. We also have our cheese and meat boxes for sale. Um, in the back, we have some locally cured meats uh, from Driftless Provisions. We also carry products um, from two local creameries. We have Westby Co-op Creamery. We've got their extra sharp cheddar and some string cheese here. And then Nordic Creamery is just down the road from them. And we have a grumpy goat cheese, as well as a Caprico, which is a blend of cow and goat cheese. Perfect. Now, where can folks kind of find more information on the Cheese Corner? I mean, you can go through our website. It is cheese-corner.com, and we have a Facebook page. It is also linked through our website. Perfect. Is there anything else you guys want to add that I didn't mention or anything that comes to mind? Yeah. So, um, yeah, VARC collaborates with a lot of local businesses to employ folks with varying abilities. Um, we'd love to have more inclusive employers in our area. So uh, anyone interested could uh, reach out our website or Facebook or give us a call. Perfect. Well, I want to thank both of you for joining us on this segment of Foodie Friday. We thank greatly you. appreciate it. We'll be right back after the break. 
Hello to you. I'm Gail King coming right up on CBS Mornings. We get to sit down with actor Glenn Powell. There he is. He's having a career breakout moment and, by the way, getting rave reviews for his new movie. It's called Hitman. I like that, Glenn Powell. That's coming right up on CBS Mornings. It took 34 years to change this place from worn out to wonderful, slow and steady to keep overhead low. The same slow, steady growth has grown us to the best team of home improvement professionals in the region, over 80 today. Voted best of lacrosse because of exceptional quality and unexpected low prices. Whatever your next project, contact us today for a prompt free estimate. You have a problem, we have the solution. Better than you imagined for less than you expected. Contact the board store today. Here's to the farm and fleet dads, the ones who work hard and get the job done right, the ones who take pride in what they do and take the time to pass it on. This Father's Day, get your dad a gift he'll love. Like these men's work and sport shorts, $19.99. One pound bags of Blaine's brand trail and snack mixes, two for seven bucks. Get $40 instant savings on this DeWalt line trimmer and save 10% on WeatherGuard truck boxes. Rewards members save 15%. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Blue Angels are returning to the Deke Slayton Air Fest June 15th to 16th at the La Crosse Regional Airport and will be joined by the F-22 Raptor demo team. The F-22 Raptor is the Air Force's premier fifth-generation fighter aircraft. With its combination of stealth, super cruise, and extreme maneuverability, the F-22 cannot be matched by any known or projected fighter aircraft, plus so much more. Air Fest 2024 is an exciting combination of air and ground-based activities. Online tickets only. Visit airfest.com to purchase your tickets today. If you're not a caregiver now, you will be someday. Nomo can help. Nomo uses simple motion and movement sensors to check on mom's day inside the house. Mom's in the kitchen? It shows up in the Nomo app. Mom opens the fridge? You know. And when something you expect doesn't happen, you know that too. Normal day for mom? Good to know. Not normal. That's when you need to know. No more, worry less. Nomo Smart Care. N-O-M-O -O Smart Care. This is where it all happens. I'm gonna take you into custody. Under what charges? Interrupting my court. The raw and shocking moments. Don't crush your luck with me, son. You gonna sentence me? Just shut your damn mouth. Prepare to go inside the courtroom and witness what really happens. Court camp. Weekdays at 10.30. Celebrate National Fudge Day with us, Saturday, June 16th. A West Salem man convicted of killing his wife in 2016 has lost another appeal for a new trial. After a nine-day trial, Todd Kenhammer was convicted of killing his wife, Barbara. He was sentenced to life in prison with a chance for parole after 30 years. In Kenhammer's argument to the State Court of Appeals, he argued that his trial lawyers were constitutionally ineffective. In its decision, the Court of Appeals rejected that argument and reaffirmed the La Crosse County Court's decision to deny a motion for a new trial. Ken Hammer maintains his innocence, says his wife was killed when a pipe from another vehicle crashed through her car's windshield. Access to the northern portion of Pettibone Park is closed due to high water. According to the City of La Crosse's Parks Department, Pettibone Drive North will be closed until further notice. The closure includes the Lagoon Rental Facility. Access to the boat club will remain open. It's never too early to think about the next Oktoberfest. The Gamelt Kite Foundation revealed the next Oktoberfest button at their annual Forks and Corks dinner. This year's winner is a design from Joseph Kinsler, who also designed the 2022 Oktoberfest button. The Oktoberfest board voted this design to best exemplify the theme 2024 friendship, Gamelt Kite, and more. 63rd Lacrosse Oktoberfest will be September 26th through the 29th. A popular concert series is back for its 13th summer in Lacrosse. Moon Tunes is a free summer-long concert series at Lacrosse's Riverside Park. 
Different musical acts will perform at the band shell every Thursday from 5.30 to 8 p.m. through September 12th. Music lovers can bring lawn chairs, drinks, and snacks. Food trucks from local vendors are also available at each concert. Moon Tunes co-founder says it's a great way for family and friends to get outside. And the smile on everyone's faces. Uh, they just come and enjoy the evening. You know, the phones are put away. Uh, they're relaxing. They come as family, friends, groups, work groups, book clubs. New to Moon Tunes this year, Pearl Street Brewery will be selling wine. Greg Halls and the Wrecking Ball is set to perform next Thursday. Gear up for an action-packed weekend in the Cooley region in Chippewa Valley. Beginning in Lacrosse, the Pump House will be hosting their annual Art Spire event on Saturday. The event will feature performances by the Driftless Urban Orchestra, Seesaw, and the Braided James. The free event runs from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow at Riverside Park. It's Butterfest this weekend in Sparta. The weekend-long event began yesterday with a carnival and military night. But if you missed last night's festivities, don't worry, because tonight there will be bingo and a softball tournament. For a full list of events, you can visit our website on your screen. And up in Altoona, Cinder City Days this weekend at Cinder City Park. Some of the events held include performances by Jimmy Rodriguez and Chris Crows, bucket raffles, and even a parade tomorrow at 1 p.m. For more information and to buy tickets, visit the website on your screen. Sunshine starting us out for our Friday and temperatures primarily in the 50s, although 61 out at the La Crosse Airport. Everybody else between about 53 and 59 degrees. A bit warmer today, still a bit breezy. Northwesterly winds 10 to 20, maybe some gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour in spots, a high of 78. Chance of rain showers late tonight and into tomorrow morning. Dry for Saturday afternoon and dry on Sunday. Highs this weekend in the 70s. Well, if you're wondering what to have for breakfast this morning, you may want to grab a donut, because today is National Donut Day. It's estimated that the U.S. eats 10 billion donuts a year, roughly 31 donuts per person. The day honors the Salvation Army women who served the pastry to soldiers during World War I. Here at home, Linda's Bakery will be teaming up with the Salvation Army of La Crosse County to celebrate the day. For every donut you buy at Linda's Bakery today, it will donate 50 cents to the Salvation Army of La Crosse County's Make a House a Home program. The program helps provide a basket of household items and food items to those moving from the organization's emergency shelter into permanent housing. Don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on news8000.com. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you at noon.